Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart to Jannah or whatever Douche Smart to Jannah <laughs> Here in the UK the pubs have been closed for 104 days. Boris Johnson finally decided yesterday that he would allow the pubs to reopen at their own discretion but they would have to follow the lockdown rules. I think the statement is a bit of an oxymoron. Not because it's coming from a moron. We wanted to, to give pubs time to pre prepare. But the fact that you're expecting drunks to social distance. Asking a drunk to social distance is like asking a cat to log on to the internet. Let's have a look at this headline. Nudity, fights, drugs. I hope very much that people will behave responsibly. Another newspaper reported people twerking on cars, bathing in alcohol, puking, drink driving, these are all pretty big vices in our society and we're seeing it happen all because of one thing, alcohol. And it was estimated by the Metro that 15 million pints were drank yesterday, which was dubbed as Super Saturday. Celebrities joined the ranks. Obviously not everybody was doing this, don't get me wrong. A lot of people were following the rules and social distancing. And after all of this happened, the police commissioner goes, it's clear that drunk people can't stick to the one metre rule. You don't say! No way! And I do have to call out our atheist friends that anytime there's a debate or discussion with Muslims on alcohol, they say, No, it doesn't make sense to say that it's forbidden. Because each person has their own threshold and you know people should just be responsible. Alright, where were our atheist brethren? In the pub getting a pint. Why don't you try telling people that? Yeah, look just keep within limits. It's, what are you doing? Stop it, control yourselves. It's because as human beings we can't be trusted to do that when it comes to something like alcohol. And the creator knows us better than we know ourselves. That's why Islam is one of the only religions that Fervently. Fervently. He cannot read. Strictly forbids alcohol. The rest are 50 50. But seeing all these headlines from Metro, BBC, Sky, Mirror, all of them had very similar headlines about oh my god, drunks can't be trusted to social distance. What are they doing? Oh no. But 1400 years ago, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Al Khamru Jumma ul Ithm which roughly translates as alcohol constitutes of many sins. <laughs> and you know what? Seeing these headlines where you've got all these sins and vices packed in to just one headline or one paragraph, it really does exemplify this narration, this saying of the Prophet that he said 1400 years ago that is still applicable today and will remain applicable till the day of judgment. We can get on stage and say yeah you know Islam is too strict with regards to this or that but Islam is not here to kowtow to your understandings and your current cultural paradigms. Islam is the unapologetic truth that has come from our creator to us to help us live the best way we can. Whether we like it or not, whether it makes sense to us at this moment in time or not, that's besides the point. You cannot rely upon cultural paradigms because they constantly change, they rely on people's prejudices and their current understanding, which is bias. Yeah, of course the one who's created us knows us better than we know ourselves. Don't get me wrong, I'm not looking down on these people. Obviously, uh, they're doing whatever they currently understand and who knows if we were kind of born into this lifestyle we probably would have been doing the same thing. But I guess the point that I'm trying to say is you being born into something is not an excuse for you to carry on doing it. Yeah, You've got to have an open mind, be open to other ideas and worldviews and definitely yeah, look into Islam but you've got to put the media bias to the side guys yeah. And there's a link in the description, check that out. So alright guys, let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.